Count Tam's two new signings, and they're both youngsters. Hi guys, how's it going? And today we are back with another video and in today's video we are going to be going over Cham Tam's two new signings and they're both youngsters. Um, so the two new signings are uh, Finn Azaz on loan from uh, West Brom and Lewis Freestone. Uh, he did play for uh, Brighton uh, but he uh, parted ways with them. We'll be talking all about that in this video. Uh, so as usual, uh, I'll be going through um, both of their careers up until this point, up until they're signing for Cheltenham. Uh, the assets that they'll bring to the squad in the coming season uh, and also your opinions too um if you do want your opinion to be on a video uh in a future one uh feel free to go and follow me on instagram i always put on my story when a player has been signed that i ask for your opinions um so yeah if you ever want to put your opinion on there to be featured in a video uh, to have the chance to then feel free to follow my instagram i'll put that on the screen now um also, feel free to follow my Twitter. I'm also going to be a lot more active on there now. I feel like that's also a good platform to use uh, in terms of promoting the channel and uh, keeping all you guys up to date with everything that's going on. Uh, also, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do drop it a like. Let's try and smash 15 likes on this video. Really appreciate that. We hit the uh, we hit 15 likes on the last video. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate all the support. Um, if you do enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're on 420 subscribers at the time of filming this, which is class. I can't thank you guys enough for it. Uh, we're now on the road to 500 subscribers. Absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, if you did subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the format of this video is going to be, we're going to start off with uh, Finn, and then we're going to go on to Lewis after. Uh, so we're going to do each individual one, your opinion. So we're going to do, obviously, um, the information about Finn, what it brings to the squad and then what you guys think and then we'll do Lewis afterwards. I feel like that's a better format to do. Uh, so, let's get into uh, what Finn will bring to the team and his career up till now. So, uh, he's 19 years old and he's played for one club in his career. Obviously, he's young, so that's completely fair enough. Uh, and that's been West Brom. Uh, he's been at the club since the age of nine, which is very impressive. They obviously trust him, see potential in him, which is great to see. Uh, and he's progressed through the club's uh, youth ranks over the years. Uh, he's also put, recently put pen to paper on a new senior contract for the Baggies. Last season, he made 14 uh, appearances in Premier League 2 uh, last season, scoring two goals and supplying three assists from his midfield position. Um, and he has some really good potential uh, with what looks to be good defensive attributes and also great attacking attributes as well. Uh, from what I've heard, he's a very good player. He's got lots of potential and he's he's very difficult to shrug off the ball. He's quite strong on the ball, uh, which is great to see. I feel like he's going to bring sort of Rowan in sort of attributes to the team, but more strong in that sense. Uh, he's definitely going to be one with higher standards considering he's come from a, uh, a Premier League well, now what is a Premier League side and he's been at the club for many, many years. So I have a lot of hope for him. Uh, he'll hopefully be an excellent addition uh, to what is already a very strong midfield that we have. Uh, and I can see him being a permanent fixture in the squad uh, going into next season. Obviously, last season on loan, we had Max Sheik and Jake Dorhays, which were both brilliant assets to the squad. And I'm hoping that he can bring the same sort of... Um, same sort of ability to the table because all of our loans last season were absolutely brilliant. Uh, so you know, I'm, I've got hope for these both of these lads, and uh, I wish them all the best. Uh, so now we're going to go on to your guys' opinions on this loan signing. All right, so uh, we're now going go to obviously the opinions uh, of you as viewers. I'm not going to do too many, maybe three or four for each, purely because obviously I've got to go through two players so that I can't. I don't want to make the video too long. I want to make it watchable for you guys. So, uh, let's get into the first one. Uh, someone says, excellent signing, hoping for a sort of Jake Dolhays sort of style. And that's exactly, well, sort of what I said. I feel like at the start when Jake came, he was a bit weak. You know, he wasn't quite up to scratch. But then throughout the season, he, he bulked up. And, and, and towards the end of the season, he was absolutely brilliant for us. 
And in my opinion, he was probably top three best players for us last season. He was absolutely excellent, grabbing a goal and uh, many assists as well on the way. He's a, he was a brilliant player for us. So I'm just hoping that um, Finn can do the same uh, in the coming season. Uh, not to say that Max Sheaf wasn't good either. He was absolutely brilliant. Also, they were both brilliant loanies. And as I said, I hope that these guys can do just as well as them. Um, so yeah, I completely agree with you there. Uh, if we could get a bit, if he if he's just like him, we're on the road to something good again. A high place finish in the league and hoping just to do as well as possible next season. Uh, off the back of obviously what happened last season. Um, someone else says sounds like he has plenty of potential. Now, I've I've heard this as well, and that you know obviously a lot, many West Brom fans will know of him because. He has been at the club for a very long time. And I'm sure if he does have a good period at this club this season, he will be a fixture in the West Brom squad in years to come. And I can tell you that now. You can screen record this if you want. But if he does do well for us, I'm sure that he will have a place in the squad at West Brom in a couple of years' time. Because, you know, he's he's born and bred um, through their academy. And it's just it's it's set up perfectly, you know. If he can if he can really prove himself uh, in his time at Cheltenham in the coming season, then it's going to be brilliant for him. So I wish the best to him, and I hope he can do as well as possible. Right, next one. Uh, someone says I'm not too sure. Don't really know enough about him. Now that's why I do these videos, you know. Because listen, I know a lot of people probably don't want to see these type of videos. They are probably quite boring. Um, that's why I try and not make them too long because some people don't want to watch informative videos that are this long. Obviously, there's not too much I can do for content at the moment. So that is why I'm doing these sort of videos to keep you guys up to date. And also, you know, so that you learn about these new players that are coming in. Uh, but we're straying off a bit there. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of fans don't know much about him. And as I said, that's why I'm doing this video. I've had to do a bit of research on him myself because I knew of him. I knew he existed, but I didn't know anything about him. And I'd heard his name before, but that was it, to be honest. But I hope that he can rectify himself as a Charlton Town player and really uh, leave his mark uh, on this team as a good player uh, in the future to go on to playing in the Premier League with the Baggies. Uh, that's if they stay up, which they have. But they are a very up and down team, aren't they? But there we are. Uh, that's straight off again a bit, but there we are. Um, so, uh, final one I'll do is uh, I'm just interested to see how he does, to be honest. Um, I think we all are, to be honest. That's spoken for all of us. You know, many fans won't know who he is. Um, I doubt many do, you know, fully know that much about him. Um, but I think everyone's going to be interested to see how how he does. You know, I, I'm just I'm just praying he's excellent because if we do if we do have another strong midfielder, we're going to have probably the best midfield in the league too. You know, Bradford have a good midfield. Bolton are going to be good next season. There's many good midfields, but I was definitely going to be out there if Broom stays in the midfield. Probably got top five best midfield in League Two. Um, Connor Thomas as well. Excellent from the penalty spot. Excellent passing. So if he can break into this midfield, he's going to be good. And alongside Broom and Thomas, he's going to be brilliant. So I wish the best to him, as I've said several times. Uh, but yeah, if he can do well, it's going to be good for the team. Uh, so yeah, let's go on to Lewis Freeston. Okay, so now moving on to Lewis. Uh, he's 20 years old and he's played for multiple clubs in his career um, so far. Uh, his first in which being uh, the youth of Peterborough United. Um, he went on uh, to go to several non-league clubs on loan over his time uh, at Peterborough. Uh, before being released by Peterborough at the end of the 2018-19 season. Uh, and then on the 29th of July uh, 2018, he signed a one-year contract with the under-23 development squad uh, at Premier League side Brighton, which was very good for experience. Uh, but he didn't quite get the game time he needed, but he still proved himself there. Uh, but then parted ways with the club at the end of his contract. So there obviously wasn't, it obviously wasn't working uh, as well as hoped. And again, a lot of potential. So I'm liking the sounds of this signing. Uh, he'll hopefully be another solid centre-back. And I'm hoping that he has the same sort of impact as Jacob Graves did last season because he's he seems like the same sort of player really. He's come from off the back of being the youth of an of a big club, Brighton. Obviously, Jacob Graves is from Hull, um, so another big club. Um, so it's going to be a big step for him, obviously. 
But I wish him the very best of luck because, you know, he hasn't been getting the game time that he needs to grow. And I feel like at Cheltenham, that is where he's going to get that game time. So if he, if, if Duffo does give him game time in the odd game, he's going to be good. He's going to be good because he has all he has all the potential there to leave a mark on this club and, you know, appeal to, you know, the championship clubs, the League One clubs, because he is young. And again, that's what he, that's what we did with Jacob Graves. And I know that we've got the coaching staff to be able to bring him up in the right environment and to be able to make him an absolutely brilliant player. And I'm, I'm convinced that's what he's going to be. OK, so now it's time to look at your guys' opinions about Lewis Freestone. So, the first one says, uh, are you unsure as I feel like our defence doesn't need uh, boosting any further? Uh, now... In a way, I can agree with this one, but I feel like we did need another centre-back, uh, bare minimum, because, you know, Will Boyle, he's all right, but he's he did make a few mistakes last season, which were very costly. Um, Raglan was excellent, Greaves was excellent, but obviously his loan is up now. Uh, ben Tozer, excellent captain, excellent defender, but I feel like we needed one more, and this has done it for me. And I think, as I said, if we give him game time, he's going to be excellent. Uh, moving on. Uh, heard that he has a similar play style to Jake Greaves. Well, I, I, I haven't heard that, to be honest, but I've already hoped so. You know, I wish him all the best. I've said that several times in this video, but I really, does hope he, I really do hope he does well. Because if he does, he's going to be a permanent fixture in that, in that squad next season and hopefully push for promotion yet again. Uh, and, yeah, just even further, to be honest. Um, final one we're going to do, because the video is probably getting uh, towards the 15-minute mark now. Uh, says looking at his track record i think it'd be brilliant now the only thing about this one is i don't think he really has that good of a track record but you know he's been at several league uh non-league clubs rather he's gone through brighton's youth development he's gone through peterborough's youth development now the way i see it as is he's gone through a lot of development he's gonna have the skills there but he needs to he needs to implement them into his game now he needs the time to fit them into his play style at this club. And I feel like if he can do that, and if he does that successfully, then he's going to be probably in our top three centre-backs for sure. Um, yeah, so that is it for the opinions for today. Um, sorry if you weren't featured, because as I said, I can't fit them all into one video. Uh, if, you want, if you ever want me to make separate videos uh, on each of them, or on your guys' opinions on anything, feel free to let me know. I am considering that, but obviously some people won't want to see that, so it's completely fair enough. Uh, so, all in all, I think both signings uh, are very good, uh, and I think they'll be both uh, they'll both be very important players going into next season, fingers crossed, as long as they develop well, uh, and they are built up well around the uh, squad. Um, so, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, I appreciate all the support I'll get your legends. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. I'll be back with another video very soon. Uh, have a brilliant rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.